Here are three reasons why you probably don't have anything to wear. Number one, you probably don't have enough basics in your closet that you can dress up or down. Number two, you probably spent way too much money on trendy pieces that are just not in style anymore. Number three, I'm guilty of this one. Your closet is probably a mess and not organized and probably cluttered and you can't find pieces that you're looking for. We'll have solutions for you in part two. Okay, here are three reasons why you have nothing to wear, part two, and this is the video that you guys have been hounding me for. It's the solution. Number one, you don't have enough basics in your closet that you can style in multiple ways. I personally like shopping for black, neutrals, just solid colors that you can wear in different ways. I will have a full list of basics that you need in my next video. Two, you own too many trendy pieces that just aren't really in style anymore. Before you buy yourself the next trendy fashion item, make sure you ask yourself these three questions. Can this be a classic item or is this a one-time trend? How many ways can I style this piece really? Lastly, is this worth the investment? For three, you have a cluttered closet and it needs some organization. If you watched my last video, you know that I struggle with this. One thing I really love doing is organizing my closet by color. This helps me find pieces that I'm looking for much more easily. You can also pull all of your in-season clothing to the front of your closet so that it's easily accessible. Let me know if this is helpful in the comment section and don't forget to follow for more. Bye! Hi friends! Have you ever heard you can only wear baggy pants with a tight top, or a loose top with tight bottoms? Well, here are three tips to wear baggy on baggy clothing. Tip 1. Take a baggy tee and tuck it loosely into your jeans. This way, you won't lose your figure, but it still looks casual and cool. Tip 2. Find a top that is baggy but cropped. While nothing in this outfit is skin tight, I don't lose my figure because of the cropped sweater. Tip 3. If you don't want to use tips 1 or 2, you can still streamline your baggy fit by layering over a crossbody that draws the eye diagonally. That I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the freak show, the best in town. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't get along with anybody, honestly. I've been living in my own head, constantly thoughts jumbled round, think I need a new lobotomy. Wait, all these thoughts are too negative. If you want to always look put together, there's only one style tip you need to live by, balance. For example, if wearing tight pants, balance with a looser top. If wearing a fitted top, opt for looser pants. Lastly, if the skirt is short, keep a conservative on top. Follow for more tips. Do you hate when you wear strapless bras and they keep sliding down? Watch this hack. Attach one of the removable straps on the back side and then loop it under your chest area and attach it on the other side. Tighten it as needed and that's it. It's not going to slip down anymore. Like for more hacks. I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no Five tips on how to dress better. Pair the right undergarments for the right occasion and outfit. You can clearly see my bra for multiple reasons, so make sure you find the right size and the right color for your skin. You've probably heard this tip so many times, but make sure you don't have any wrinkles in your shirt. You'll definitely look like a fashion pro, and if you don't have a steamer, line dry, or hang up your shirt somewhere while you take a shower so that the wrinkles come out. Something I used to do a lot was buy dresses based upon the models that were wearing them. A lot of times, they look like they would fit well, but they're actually really uncomfortable. I just wouldn't feel as comfortable or confident as if I wore something that made sense for my body type. I actually wore this dress six years ago for my senior prom and I probably look more confident in it because I'm so comfortable. It's timeless because it's a solid color. I ended up wasting a lot of money because I would shop for things that were cute or on sale. As I get older, I understand why it's important to invest in pieces that I wear every day like this blazer and the same principle applies for every aspect of your life like your friends. Lastly, if you're still asking yourself how to dress better, rather ask yourself would Victoria Beckham wear this? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more. you're showing a bit more skin than you're comfortable with, well here are three tips to turn revealing clothing a bit more modest. Tip 1. If you're showing a bit more cleavage than you'd like, layering a thin shirt or tee is not only modest, but it looks intentional and cute. Tip 2. If you love the look of a dress, but it's a bit too short, you can transform it into a shirt instead by tucking the excess into your pants. Tip 3. If you do want to show a little bit of skin, mesh tops are a great intermediate that shows just the right amount. 
Hi friends! For some reason, a lot of people online think I'm super tall despite only being 5'3", so here are 3 alpha tips to make you appear taller. Tip 1. I find that flare or straight-legged pants that partially cover my shoes lengthen me, in comparison to shorter tapered bottoms. Tip 2. This one is kind of obvious, but high-waisted bottoms are much more lengthening than low-rise bottoms. Tip 3. This might just be me, but I feel like white shoes make me appear taller, while black shoes tend to harshly cut off my length. Three reasons why you have nothing to wear. You have way too many dressy or statement pieces. You don't have enough simple basics, such as dresses, cute jeans, and t-shirts. You don't have shoes that are both stylish and comfortable, like a simple sandal and a clean white sneaker. Here's some fashion tips for my shorties. Tip number one. As you can see, I am very short. Wear high-waisted jeans. If it's wide leg or flare, then bonus points. Tip number two, just don't wear midi skirts. They make you look short as hell. Or maybe I'm just short. Follow for more fashion tips. Please do not follow these fashion rules. You should only wear all gold or all silver jewelry together. Exhibit A, exhibit B, exhibit C. Satin should only be worn in the evening. If you don't think this is suitable for daytime, then we can't be friends. You should never wear white after Labor Day. Highly disagree. It looks beautiful on all skin tones and should be worn year round. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power Don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And Fuck all the doubters, they're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns You know when you pull out a button down shirt or dress and the collar looks like this all floppy and distorted? We call this drunk collar in the fashion industry and to avoid this you need to do this one thing. Instead of hanging it like this, you should only ever worry about buttoning the top button. That way the collar stays nice and everything hangs straight. Bags I would recommend to someone I hate. First up is this Chanel micro vanity bag. This bag is so small, nothing will fit in it. Not even her makeup. Which is good because if you hate the bitch, she won't be able to touch herself up through the night. It's gonna look oily and disgusting as hell. Second one is this Balenciaga graffiti bag. This bag is so busy that the vast majority of the population won't be able to style it. Chances are she's gonna wear this bag and look like a clown. This Chanel bag is perfect. Think about it. As they go out at night, they're gonna lose all of their shit through these holes. Next up is this Valentino rock stud toe. They're gonna think they look so cool but they're gonna look totally passe because the rock stud ship has long sailed my friend. Next one is this top handle from Off-White. Perfect for someone that lives in a place like Brazil where I'm from. When you go out with this bag guarantee that they're gonna get robbed in 0.3 seconds. The last one is any Chanel tweed bag. Tweed over time loses all of their fibers, piles up, gets full of those disgusting little balls and that gets all over their clothes and they're gonna look like they have chicken pox. Here are a few tips for my girls out there with small chests. First, it's important that you have a good fitting bra. You do not want any gaps. Target and Pepper have amazing options. Next, keep your back straight, embrace what you have, and be proud. Stay away from tops with extra boob space. This is not cute and very unflattering. Instead, go for a square neckline or V necklines and layer some necklaces. When it comes to bikini tops, stay away from tops with extra boob space. Instead, go for a bandeau top, a tank top, or a triangle top with thicker straps. Follow me for more tips.